All right, I'm on hole number three of the Tropic Kings Tournament and Tuesday's qualifying round in the rookie division. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook and check out hole number three. All right, I like this hole. This is another, like hole number one, this is a hole that you want to you want to give yourself that shot every time to pick up that next, that next one. So here we're looking at a par five that has an Albi shot and we want to give ourselves the best opportunity <coughs> for Albi. So normally on this hole, um, whether I'm in pro or rookie, it doesn't really matter. If I'm hitting from the second tees or the first tees, I, I always like to play this hole with a quarterback. And I want to land out in this area and I want to give myself plenty of room. When you're on the hole, you, it doesn't demonstrate it here, but when you're on this hole, it drops off right here along the front. I mean, it goes like this. Here's the pad, here's the pad, and then it drops off all the way around this so you want to stay the heck away from that you don't want to end up hitting where you hit out here on the flat and the ball shoots straight forward you want to hit out here where the ball is taking its bounce and running running um, what can happen sometimes especially if you hit too far down on this face is it'll just shoot right across and you'll end up bumping out in here into the rough and you can't make it from out here so you want to get onto this fairway pad and you want to avoid that sand so I'm going to use a QB and I'm trying to get out into these shadows. I'm trying to get as far to the right as I can into those shadows so that I have a straighter in shot to the green. And there's a ridge that runs right along here. So if I can get out here, I can ride that ridge as opposed to being out here where I have to engage the ridge and then bring it back around. So the farther to the right and into those shadows I can get and I want to be in front of that sand or somewhere in that neighborhood. So this is my target area my notes I'm going to use a QB and a quasar I'm going to use my accurate bag I'm going to use a quarterback, a sniper, and a quasar the cool thing about a lot of the holes in this tournament is there's a lot of the holes in this tournament you don't have to bring out your big big stuff and there's a lot of them that are deceiving. You don't have to bring out your big, big stuff for the first shot, but you definitely need your big, big stuff for the second shot. So you, there are some, but I, it's not really other than maybe hole number nine where you have to you know, contemplate bringing out a four power ball. Most of these holes in Ricky, you can hit with uh, the, the normal, normal balls, Kingmaker and below. So I'm going to use my katana, and I've got... Or a quasar and I've got my accurate bag set up so here we go I like this hole I've hit a lot of albatross on this hole and when I say a lot probably six or seven but I give myself a really good look at Albi every time I get here If you're using an extra mile on this, it's definitely, um, it's it's super easy no matter what club, no matter what driver. Any driver will work. I mean, that's how far my QB will make it with a Quasar, so there's no problem trying to get up there. I'm going to give myself plenty of room. I'm kind of like the clear rings down there by the transition. I'm going to do a four ring adjustment. 100% accurate club. It's another real good reason why you can't do any overpower here so I'm going to put curl to bring it back towards those shadows. And I hit it great on the inside. One of the things I like about the QB is it doesn't matter if you hit it great on the inside. <coughs> and I'm up there in those shadows. That's exactly where I want to be. If you hit a shot like that and you're pushing the limit with your extra mile and you hit it great on the inside, you're going to end up in big, big trouble. So these types of shots, if you can, if you can use your quarterback, and, and I know how it works when we first start the game. When we first start the game, our clubs blow. And so when you get that extra mile and you start getting a little bit of level on that extra mile, the extra mile is the go-to club because your woods are, are crap. And so... 
you use that extra mile to make up the distance that you don't get with your woods to try and help yourself out. And if you use a QB, you know, you're just compounding the problem. You're getting where you want to get. It's accurate and you're out there in the thing, but you pull out that wood and you can't get there with the wood. So you end up having to use your extra mile. But as your clubs start to level up, some of those clubs that you poo-pooed off, like the quarterback, become very viable clubs because they are so accurate. Alright, I like to be my blue ring off, and then I'm just going to dial it into the hole. I want to make sure I'm going right at it, and I'm going to do a nice and easy full wind adjustment. Three rings. And my opponent forfeited. What were you thinking? Dude. You know, that, that right there just really ticks me off. It ticks me off for several reasons. Number one is that when I get on this hole, I feel like I have a serious shot at Albatross. And that right there is a matter of me just having to hit perfect, and I'm going to give myself a great, great look at Albatross. And so I'm not exactly sure if you were just practicing. Were you just practicing that layup shot? I mean, why would you forfeit that? And I'm not a big fan of forfeiting during gameplay. Um, it happens sometimes during tournaments, but I'll, I will usually I'm I'm not the guy that's going to help you get your extra shot. If you messed up, I'm not going to forfeit to help you out. You know, you're going to have to get your round because I I'm I'm expecting that I'm going to have to shoot in order to get an eagle or to shoot to get an albatross. But I did not get to take a look at my albatross shot there, and I was in perfect location. It's just a matter of hitting that shot perfect, and I could have gave myself a great shot, and it really ticks me off when people do that. And then it screws up my video. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Go blame that guy. I was hole number three of the Tropic Kings tournament in the Tuesday qualifying round of the rookie division. Thanks for watching.